Sherry there. Today I'm here to bring you the Anything But Books tag. This was started by Reader Rot, who I will link down below, and I was kindly tagged by Angelica Kofa, who I will also link down below. This is a nice little tag about sort of everything to do with our lives that is not related to books, although I'm probably going to mention books at some point because, let's be honest, they are quite a large part of my life. So let's get straight into the questions. Again, I'm going to be looking behind the camera because, again, I have not learn the questions off by heart. Are you surprised by now really? So number one is name a cartoon that you love. I'm going to start with the boring an answer and say that I don't actually enjoy cartoons. In fact I kind of actively dislike them. I like a few Studio Ghibli films and a few Disney films but other than that I certainly don't watch any cartoon series and I never really have. When I was younger I suppose I watched things like Arthur but that was about the only cartoon that I really enjoyed. Um, certainly off the top of my head anyway. One thing that people do find surprising about me is that I actually really dislike Family Guy. I find it vapid and literally if somebody puts it on the telly I just switch off. Although to be fair I don't watch much telly and most of the time I switch off when the telly's on because I just find it really vapid and it's just pointless noise and it irritates me but I really don't like Family Guy. That's something that a lot of people find surprising, but I just hate it. Number two, what is your favourite song right now? I'm not a huge song person. I generally listen to audiobooks and things rather than songs, but in my job, I do have quite a lot of time editing work that I've done, so I tend to listen to music then. started listening to Spotify, so I started getting into quite a few new things. Um, I like Max. It's capital M-A-X. He's probably a big thing, I don't know. I don't know what's big in music. Um, I like him. I like his song Savage. That's really bass heavy and it gets me pumped and ready to go. And I'm also really enjoying September Song by J.P. Cooper. I just think it's really sweet and there's a version of it on Spotify that is a piano acoustic and it's just lovely. I think it's gorgeous. Number three, what could you do for hours that isn't reading? To be honest, I've realised, especially recently, now that I don't have much time, that I'm more of a bitty person, so I don't really do anything for extended periods other than reading, but even reading, I'll generally have sort of two hours, an hour and a half max, where I can actually just sit down and read. Um, generally though, I do little bits of different things, so I'll do like an hour of writing and an hour of reading or an hour of booktube. Like I would love to be one of these people who can just set aside a weekend for reading or something like that, but I just can't do it anymore. I used to write for extended periods, but I've just found that I can't settle my brain for long enough or that I feel guilty because there's always something else that needs doing and it just bugs me. So generally I don't spend ages doing one thing ever, which is really quite sad. Number four, what is something you love to do that your followers would be surprised by? I don't really know that it's particularly surprising, it's certainly nothing groundbreaking, but I can crochet, although I don't do it enough. I haven't done it in quite a long time, since December I think was my last crochet project. I have got an ongoing crochet blanket. I feel like finding the time to do that will be a small miracle. So yeah, a lot of people find that surprising because I don't think many people my age actually crochet. It's sort of one of those things that you think old women do, but I find it really enjoyable. I can also knit, but I do prefer crochet. Number five, what is your favourite unnecessarily specific thing to learn about? This is <laughs> kind of going to tie back to books, but I love learning about authors. I enjoy finding out about their journeys, their processes. One thing I do do, which is a bit strange, is that I get obsessed with authors whose work I don't even particularly like. But a good example would be J.K. Rowling and Neil Gaiman, both of whom I'm not particularly fussed about reading. I wouldn't rush out and buy their next book, and they're certainly not in my favourites. But I love watching them speak, especially Neil Gaiman. I've watched everything he's done on YouTube, like hour-long interviews he's done and events and everything. I've watched it all. I just find it really fascinating to listen to his passion and he's really quite inspiring and I just, I find him a fascinating person. So I have this real obsession with authors and they're sort of, not even particularly their writing, but just their lives in general. I just, I, I want to know it all. I just want to devour all the author stuff. Number six, what is something unusual you know how to do? Again, I don't particularly have anything unusual, I can't speak any languages, I don't have any magic party pieces, but I would say crochet again for this one. Can I reuse my answers? Well, I just did, so there you go. Number seven, name something you've made in the last year and show us if you can. 
obviously I consider my YouTube something that I do make, I create the videos, I edit them, I upload them, so there's that if you want to see that back and watch the videos. I also knitted some Christmas presents this year, so I knitted a scarf and a tea cosy. I'll show you a picture of the tea cosy actually, I was really pleased with it because I just completely winged it, I didn't know what I was doing and it turned out really lovely. And number eight, what is your most recent personal project? This is to do with my writing, so I've got one short story collection that I'm working on and also I'm a novel, although I'm always working on a novel and I never have one written so we could discount on that but I'm gonna I'm gonna include it in there excuse the Sun it's got very bright um, so my short story collection I'm trying to put together the short stories that I wrote last year I had about six months off where I just wrote short stories um, and all of them sort of work quite well together so I'm trying to work out where there's gaps that I need to fill and also how they can all work together as a whole and as I say, my novel ongoing, we, we, we won't even talk about that. Number nine, tell us something you think about often. Um, again, nothing groundbreaking. Story ideas, I'm always thinking of story ideas. I'm one of these annoying people that's got their pad with them all the time. Although I've realised that I've got this pad full of story ideas that I never revisit, which is kind of besides the point. But, you know, they're there if I need them. And I just, I, I get inspired at random times, not even particularly from people around me or from things. I see but just generally um, so I love to write my ideas down so that's something that I'm constantly thinking about and my writing always keeps me busy number 10 give us something that's your favorite but make it oddly specific I'm gonna go hot drink related so in the mornings I like a cup of chai tea because I just find it cozy and it's kind of like still sleepy time and it's nice although in the winter I do generally drink that all the time but this is what I'm drinking at the moment for lunch I like to make my own hot chocolate so I'm vegan I don't know if many people know that so I use sort of a nut based milk or something like that generally almond milk or things um, and then put dark chocolate in there that's my after lunch hot drink and it sort of keeps me pepped and sugared for the rest of the afternoon and then after tea I like to drink a green peach tea. I've got this lovely green peach tea at the moment and it's it's really floating my boat. Although I think that's probably gonna take over my chai tea as the weather gets warmer because chai tea is kind of a Christmas drink, but it, it does work all year round. But I think peach tea is more suited to the summer. And lastly, say the first thing that pops into your head. All the things that popped into my head were poo related. I'm not gonna lie, like, is that worrying? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I'm not going to tag anyone because most people have already done this. But as always, if you haven't done it and you fancy doing it, please have a go and link me down below so I can check your video out and I'll see you next time. Bye.